Things, main reasons how we got to Palau. All sailing canoes. We're gonna walk through a taro patch. Our source of starch. As as you can see here, this is a pit where if you had a clan here, they would have came here and met. And this is where they would make you know, tools. This is locally known as evacle. This is a great tool. For a, for a man, tool and a weapon. So, what's here is iron wood, and this piece here at the top looks looks like more like an axe. This piece is the hinge of the clam. We didn't have steel 600 years ago, so we had the hinge of the clam, which is the most durable part of the clam, and you would wrap it around with coconut. There's a certain bird here. Called the uh, Micronesian Megapode, and the male would walk around. He's got big feet. Walk <laughs> around, uh, collecting leaves, leaf litter, sticks, even World War II uh, relics <laughs> and ancient artifacts, making this very big mound. And what is he doing? He's attracting a female. I was looking up on these. This is the defense wall. There's usually like. A racer snake usually splitting around here, so keep an eye out for a snake. It's a great sight. These guys are looking for sapphire lizards to feed on. Entering the village this 600 years ago. We know that it's 600 years ago because we had uh, people come in to check out the rocks, the pottery. There's lots of pottery in the area. But the high chief is living at the very top. So in the middle is you got the elders, the children, and here at the base level, you've got all the strong warriors living. So they would build this defense wall, opening one, I mean actually two ways so they can funnel all their attackers coming in through one area and they would lock themselves up in a corner so they won't get surrounded. Keeping your enemies in one direction you can focus all your attention in that area. So for over years the chief his name was Osilek and he actually had great status amongst the people of Palau and there is word that you know, we had about 80,000 people more than 80,000 people because of all the resources and then when, when the resource went down the population also when you're traveling through the rock islands you'd never find a waterfall or river all this limestone is all porous limestone it's like a sponge when it rains all that water will percolate through the cracks and crevices of the limestone and it will get you know pushed out on the tunnels and cracks on the sides of the rock islands so there's really, it's really hard to get water. Oh. Guys, look around, there's pieces of pottery laying on the ground, even shells, <laughs> big shells, that you would never really find around these times. So how long ago was it when they first came here? How many 
like uh, thousands my ancestors of, thousands of years or I estimate like a thousand years ago. Oh right. the middle section of the rock island and here you got pictographs oh. in all the ancient village they usually have pictographs written usually up on the limestone and they're located in such a way that deep in the crack or when it rains they don't get washed up so they've been actually sitting here for over six or eight years old like the ancient village and i've got by not here you guys can actually just stand in the middle or Captain Jeff can swing the board around. Here let's just ask the binoculars around. Just look deep inside you'll see red markers. And these pictographs are made out of 